Uh, hi, uh, my name is David Ritchie. I'm the careers advisor at St. Jones. Uh, I hope over the next uh, few years that I'll be part of uh, your journey through Key Stage 4 and beyond uh, as you think about six forms, colleges, apprenticeships, degree apprenticeships, degree courses. Uh, that's kind of why I'm in school. Uh, but this particular presentation is about a product that uh, hugely supports uh, that uh, research into all your next steps called Unifrog. It's a fabulous product um, and I want to walk you through the uh, options uh, and functions within Unifrog in this short presentation. It's a funny old name but it is a fabulously good uh, product uh, and which I'll show you. Um, here's the context though first of all. Uh, you are uh, embarking on a GCSE program, uh, but that GCSE program is uh, part of a much longer journey. And Unifrog will be alongside you on that journey as a research tool and as a place to capture evidence to support your future planning. So just above GCSEs there, you can see it says skills, events and activities. Uh, you will be doing stuff and you will be learning stuff. And all the way along that journey, it's helpful to reflect back on why did I do that activity? What did I get out of that activity? Why, why might I be able to use the evidence of that activity in some future application? And what about the skills have I acquired? Employers and higher education and six forms and colleges are enormously interested in the skills you've got. So rather than having to wing it each time you make an application to something, Unifrog allows you the opportunity to record all that, but I will say more about that later. And it is about progression because through GCSEs, you're going to be thinking about uh, life beyond that as to whether you stay at school or look at college, whether you look at A-level programs or BTEC courses. Uh, and after that, thinking about degree courses, perhaps at university or degree apprenticeships or school leaver programs or any kind of work-based program. But all the way along, you can research this through Unifrog and you can create uh, banks of evidence within Unifrog. I'll talk to you more about how you will uh, access Unifrog in, in a minute uh, and how you will register and log in and what have you. But assuming you've done all that, uh, this is the landing page, this is the home page. And there's, I think, I think about three, three pages of these little tiles, these colorful tiles. This is what the home page looks like. Each one of these little tiles is uh, a portal to either research or a portal through to a place where you can record or place information. Um, along the top there, you have uh, the interest profile and the personality profile. That is driven by uh, an industry standard program called Myers-Briggs that just lets you reflect on what you're like, what's your personality like and what are you interested in. And then the analysis will point you back to different careers you might want to research and it will point you towards different subjects that you might want to take forward. And it will actually go further than that and also point you uh, down the road towards some potential university courses. Uh, it's an opening, opening entry level activity, if you like. It's fun to do. Um, but don't get too hooked in on it. Just uh, allow it to start you off and just almost work you through the program. Top right, however, the careers library, that is something I'm going to want to do uh, considerably. And I'll talk more about that later. The subject library uh, also, you may have no clue about a particular career, uh, but you must be beginning to get a feel of the subjects that you like more than others. So you can uh, type them into the subject library. Uh, and likewise, that will then expand back to a whole new vocabulary of uh, ongoing learning pathways and, and careers that use those particular subjects and skills. The know-how library is just a huge library, a video library, text-based library, photograph-based library of just, oh gosh, countless, countless different uh, short bite-sized bits of information on or applying to the United States, applying to courses in Europe, different types of jobs, preparing your CV, online assessments, oh gosh, you name it, you'll probably find it within the know-how library. Um, bottom left there, webinars, it's kind of an extension of the library, you know what webinars are, uh, and again, likewise, you will find webinars on all sorts of different careers uh, related topics, higher education related topics, uh, A-levels, applications, etc., all within there. MOOCs on the right there, the turquoise box, 
massive uh, open online courses. Uh, maybe going to be more used by you if you're in the sixth form. Uh, they allow you to read around your subject, uh, to expand your knowledge, and that will be incredibly useful in supporting future applications to higher education in particular. Uh, this is a sort of change of tack. The previous page showed you information that you can research. This is now where you can start to upload your own information. So activities literally is that, things you've done, whether they be sporting, musical, creative, artistic, drama, Duke of Edinburgh stuff, any kind of activity you've been a part of and played a role in, you can record it there. Competence is about skills. Uh, skills are incredibly important, uh, whether you're applying to school in the sixth form, to college, uh, then beyond that into university or into an apprenticeship or, to, or school leaver program. Being able to evidence your skills, and it's about evidencing your skills, not just saying, I have this skill. Uh, you can capture all that within the competence section of Unifrag. Have a look, see. Uh, interactions is different again. Here, I can record notes for you after we've met. Uh, so we have a particular discussion about uh, options and plans. Uh, I can write them in there, and I can also download documents into there for you that also reflect those conversations. And also, if I've got other bits of information that are career-related, uh, that I think you should know as an individual or across a year group, I can pop it in there for you. And then underneath that, we're getting back into the realms of the research. Uh, there are some 300 odd universities, 35,000 odd courses, uh, and you can research them through that red tab. Uh, Oxbridge is Oxford and Cambridge in particular. Uh, apprenticeships on the right allows you to uh, learn about apprenticeships at 16, 17, 18. Uh, intermediate, advanced, higher and degree apprenticeships, uh, and also it lets you make applications straight through the site. Uh, the Colleges in Sixth Form uh, tab is exactly what it says it is. It allows you to explore those options, uh, and the special opportunities and events are, are also things that you uh, will have uh, that are coming up that you will want to explore and record again for, for, the, for future evidence and relevance. And the last two uh, are, again, where uh, you can, within the locker, uh, store information that you are particularly proud of, it's particularly important, and you think you may one day want to use it in an application. But likewise, uh, I can put things in your locker. Uh, recently, or in, well, quite recently, once you're we're all logged in, I'm going to drop in uh, a document called uh, Careers Focus, a newsletter that's been emailed to all your parents, uh, and I'll pop it in the locker so you have a, a copy of it too. And the CV resume, you may want to use that. Uh, it's uh, a straightforward template that deconstructs a CV, allows you to build it up step by step, uh, and then uh, reassembles it in a really quite attractive format. But this is how it's all going to work. So that's how it will, will operate once you're in, but how do you get in? So you will receive uh, early, I think, on the 19th, uh, an email directly from Unifrog saying, uh, welcome to Unifrog basically. Uh, there'll be a hyperlink that you need to follow that will take you into the website uh, where you can register. And absolutely, please, will you register using your school email? And I suggest you use your school password too. Because if you then say to any of us that you've forgotten, our default position will be try your school email, try your school password. Uh, and that should get you in. You're going to be dipping in and out of this routinely over the next few years. Uh, so make it super simple for yourself. School email, please. School password. Uh, and then it works on pretty much any device you can use. Yeah, Apples, Androids, PCs, tablets, phones. About phones. Yeah, it works equally well on Apple and Android. Uh, but what I would like you to do is to capture the icon and put it on your home screen. Now, Convention says you go to the Apple Store or you go to Google Play. You absolutely cannot do that. Yeah, got that. It does not work. You do not go to Apple Store or to Google Play. What you do is this. You get the uh, Unifrog program open and up on your phone. And then you either go to the up arrow, which is the options button on Apple, or the three dots or the three horizontal lines, which is the options uh, uh, button on Android, and in both cases you then look for the text that says add to home screen, 
uh, and then in an instant the little unifrog icon will pop onto your home screen uh, as if you've got it off uh, Apple Store or from the Google Play but as I said you absolutely can't do that so follow the follow the options buttons on either of your phones and, and that will happen straightforward enough so you're in okay you're into you're into unifrog and now you have just got free access to roam the site at your leisure for as long as you care yeah for, as, for, for all the years you've got access to it you can just let this evolve but i want to point you in some particular directions all right i would like you please initially to go and start to research the careers area just see the nature of the jobs that are there and just see how attractively presented the information is yes some of it's text-based some of it's video based some of it's photograph based but just go and explore it it is so intuitive and straightforward as is the subject library yeah in this case i've used the word law uh, and up has popped uh, video uh, and photograph and text-based information uh, around careers and higher education learning uh, in law. But you can tap in anything you like and just see what pops in. So it's either subjects you enjoy at school currently or new vocabulary of new subjects that you can study in the future. And then I was talking about how you can build evidence and store that within Unifrog. This is an incredibly important section. So click on the activities uh, tab and then click on the button that says add activity and there are just simply four sections to fill in. So I know it's quite hard to read on the screen, but it says, what was your role? All right. And then it says, what was the activity type? And then it says, write a few words of a description. And then it says, when did you do it? And then you save it and you move on. It is that simple. But once it's captured, it's captured. Uh, and then as you need it in the future for applications, you've got that all there. So in conclusion, Remember, you've got Unifrog now as a tool to sit beside you for all the years you want. It's a research tool on the one hand, GCSEs, A-levels, BTECs, school, college, universities, degree apprenticeships, degree courses. All of that can be researched. But in addition to that, it's also this opportunity to record things you've done. So in the middle there it says skills, Unifrog calls them competences activities, events, things that you have done that you can evidence, you can record on Unifrog for when you need them. Yeah. So don't make this a big deal. Do it incrementally, do it in stages, but do keep doing it. All right. You'll have chances in PSHE and you'll have chances in TCT, but actually, frankly, that's just not enough. You just need to dip into it for five minutes here and five minutes there uh, when you have time to add bits and to research bits. It's just the most phenomenal one-stop shop supporting your uh, thinking and your planning. And that is as much as I want to say, and I just want to leave you to get cracking with it and enjoy it. Thank you very much.